hello welcome back in this video we learn about how to fetch google scholar data into google sheet first let us understand what is google scholar google scholar is a google service which provides information about research publications whenever any research publication is done google scholar automatically detects it and it does indexing of all the research work similar to it does indexing of web pages now whenever any research publication is done that research publication also cites other sources so google scholar also keeps track of these citations it also allows researchers to create their own profile for example i search profile of albert einstein we can see the profile will be like this so this is the profile of this author and we can see how many citations this author has received what is h index and what is i10 index now our goal in this video is to fetch this information into google sheet you can see what exactly we want to achieve so you can see here citations received by the author h index and i10 index we are able to fetch from this web page now let us understand the use case for why we should fetch this google scholar data into google sheet so it is possible that you know organization many researchers are working and organization has to periodically keep tracks of uh, research citations received by its uh, various authors for example in research organizations or in university they need to collect this statistics because they may have to submit it to some funding agencies uh, some accreditation agencies ranking agencies so if we do it manually like uh, we copy paste from this for individual author then it will take lot of time we are going to automatically fetch this information into google sheet okay so i'll do it again for you so that you can understand what exactly we have to do so this is the home page of this author so i take this url and i write this url in the url field so in organization say 50 researchers are working you need to collect url of all 50 authors so first they all need to create their profile and they need to add their research publications in the profile let us also write name of this author here under the name field now i'll show you how exactly we can fetch the information so we are going to use two functions one is import html so this function we have already used in our earlier videos and the second one is we use index function using which i can find out a cell value at particular row and column so first let me use import html so i specify url as this one and my query is for table and it is the first table on that web page so i simply write this 
and you will see that what information we will get. So you can see here whatever information is available on the home page of this author. Right, we are able to fetch this information into Google Sheet. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to fetch this individual values. So for that purpose we are going to use index function. So let us come back to this Google Sheet and now under citations I am going to write a use of index function. So first let us understand that citations, H index and I10 index values are present in which cell. So this is first row, this is second row, this is third row and this is the fourth row. In the same way this is the first column, this is the second column, this is the third column. So we can see that citations information is present in row number 2, column number 2. Same way H index is present in row number 3, column number 2. Height and index value is present in row number 4, column number 2. Now we are going to use that information here. So first let me copy this function because it returns me table data and from that I am going to fetch individual cell value. So I use index and I write here import HTML which will return me table data. Now as I said that citations information is present in row number 2, column number 2. If I hit the enter key you will see that I am able to get the citations. Now in same way I can get the H index value and I10 index value. So let me copy this formula into H index and you can see that H index value is present on row number 3 column number 2. Right in same way I can do it for I10 index. Okay, so now you can see that we are able to fetch this information into Google Sheet. Now what is the advantage of this? So once we have done it for one author, we can quickly do it for all the authors of our department of or organizations. So I have already prepared list of certain authors. So let us copy paste this name and URL. here and now you will see that quickly we will be able to get information about all these authors from Google Scholar. So let us copy this formula here. You can see it that we are able to get information about all the authors. So it is very useful rather than performing manual copy from Google Scholar periodically. Once we prepare such sheet right, we can do it for hundred or thousands of researchers who are working in our organization. So it's very useful. So generally when we have to prepare data periodically right, this kind of approach is very useful. If you like the content give it a thumbs up subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new content thank you